what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so we're here at another beautiful autocross at the river city community church in san antonio texas so today i'm going to be co-driving again with sean uh, last time we had a lot of really uh, great results he was able to coach me and i was able to wheel the car 10 times better so we're going to go ahead and do it again today there are no changes to the car whatsoever and i'm actually going to be doing doubles today so i'm going to be running in the first heat and in the second heat uh, i kind of wanted to stress test the car uh, so it's we're going to be I think we get five runs each. So in the first heat, it'll be 10 runs total on the car. And then the second heat will be me by myself and it'll be uh, five. So a total of 15 runs total. It doesn't look like we're too packed today. So we might even be able to get six runs a piece. So we'll see, uh, we'll let them make that call. Before we start diving into the driving, give a huge shout out to Vet Motorsports right there. They take care of our veterans. We get them out here, we put them in the seats, we get them driving. If you are a vet or you know of a veteran, Check out vetmotorsports.org so you can get yourself into a seat and start autocrossing. And they do a ton of other events. You got SCCA events, um, you got licensing events. So just go check them out, uh, vetmotorsports.org. I'll put a link in the description below and go ahead and check them out. So as the runs continue, the tires heat up, and uh, the more heat they get, the more expansion right, they get. The There's a fine point where they just start getting real slippery. You don't want to overcook them. All right, guys, so we're in grid now. Again, uh, this time I got Ashley with me. She's running shotguns. She hasn't ridden in the car in a very long time, so I know she's happy, she's excited. Uh, got Sean right in front of us in grid. He's also running doubles. So it's gonna be interesting how he does compared to how he does in times driving his Tacoma versus how he's doing with the Challenger. So anyways, guys, I'm gonna put the camera down and then we're gonna focus on our driving, got some GoPro set up on the car. And then at the end of the day, we'll review how everything went. And uh, I think I'm going to tell everybody the next phase of the car. So, so she knows what it is. Um, and then I'm gonna show you guys why this next phase is gonna happen. And hopefully I can show you guys all the parts that I got. And uh, we'll go from there. So we'll see you there. Mark taking off in the Ford Fiesta.
always my good luck charm. I always, <laughs> I always run faster when you're in the car. I overcooked it a little bit, but. The confidence. Huh? The confidence. What do you mean? Ooh, we, there's some tight ass places out there. I'm like, what? <laughs> well, you like it? That was fun. Awesome. All right, guys, post driving review. Here we go. All right, Sean, talk to me. What happened? What did we do? What did we figure out? Man, we drove that Challenger to the ground, man. Well, you, you kind of did. Yeah. It was good. A little bit of a, 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 a tricky start in the morning. We had uh, a doubles run that kind of got us on our toes. It was going so fast. I would get in the driver's seat, run. We'd have to switch the numbers out, check the tire pressure. You'd run. And by like the third third run yeah we finally got a rhythm going because that's my first run i was all messed up yeah. i was like man my seat belts are crooked i'm not driving yeah, straight we were looking at other people's times like man they're in their game today we gotta step it up but yeah eventually we were able to put put it down so awesome so what do you think i mean obviously we did i haven't changed anything to the car uh do you think more camber in the front might help turn that big front end yeah maybe some uh camber uh i know we can't uh, lower it anymore you can't really stiffen it i think you're on the uh stiffest setting on your shocks right yeah i am so right with the course that we were uh we were handed today we can't really do much with it as far as uh changing the car for the course the course was more designed for a smaller setup kind of like miatas and stuff like that but we made it work yeah and then my little truck did pretty good today bam yeah. i got a couple uh, i think i got some gopro footage okay, of you cool, launching cool. off yeah so. i had a lot of fun driving it it was a full throttle course for me in the truck because of how yeah. open it was but we were going really conservative with the like 400 and some horsepower in the challenger yeah. it was really hard to put all that power down um, I know you found the limit at the end. Yeah, oh yeah, so did really I? Cool. I'll tell you guys about that yeah, in a second. Yeah, that was really cool. Um, but I, I really enjoyed driving that car. Um, it did really well. It gave us no problems today at all. Besides when I was headed down uh, straight in the course, and I don't know how, but I, I reached like the limit on the RPM and it shifted yeah. in the third. And I was like, what happened? And I looked and I was like, oh, I'm in third. I got to put it back in the second. So that was kind of- Yeah, crazy. yeah, she, you were moving, man. Yeah, and that's yeah. why I was, I was like, okay. Like, it's such a good run. And then it like, I was like, okay, I'm going too fast. It went into third, so. Yeah. Usually you just leave it in second and you're good. Yeah, so overall, it was a great day. It really uh, was. Next time you drive the car, uh, I am going to change the upper control arms and do a couple other changes. Okay. So it's going to be different. Okay. Hopefully in a good, in a good way. Yeah. Um, but there's only one way to find that out, and that's by doing it. So, Sean, thanks again. Of course, man. Thank and, you so much for Yeah, dude. And I just hit a Hellcat. That Hellcat hit you, dude. Actually, the Hellcat hit me. It bit me. <laughs> Gotta watch out, man. We're in the wild. Yeah. So, yeah, guys. Uh, next time we're in the car with Sean, it's going to be completely different. Hopefully, it's better. And we'll see what we come up with. So, Sean, thanks so much, bro. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hey. All right, guys. So, back from autocross it's been a few days now uh, totally lying to you it's actually been a week uh it's actually the very following saturday i just haven't finished filming uh the end of this video now i did tell you guys i was going to show you the next version or the next thing we're going to do the challenger and that's what i'm about to show you and explain to you why we're going to do it all right guys so you guys know the challenge right you've seen it a million times you've seen it in action now uh and at face value right or like in pictures on instagram people always tell me the car looks perfect right it looks good it looks clean but the absolute reality is that it's not perfect right i'm talking about my wide body kit now uh and when we take this bad boy autocrossing it's such a big car it's so big it's so heavy that it twists and turns and my flares start popping off as you can see this one right here is pulling off actually it pulled off this weekend you see so this one's halfway off of the front fender and the rest of the glue is keeping it in place so as you can see that it's no good uh coming over here to this side this one's actually uh it's on there good top and bottom uh the rears are usually fine um the rear doesn't really twist as much i've never had a single problem with uh the rear fenders now i will say this i know not everybody is taking their cars on autocross courses, loading them up and down trailers, going racing at tracks. I know this is like a very unique thing to me. Uh, so if you do have the Vikers kit and you're doing this for a show car or a daily driver, the kit is 100% fine. It's gonna do what you need it to do. It's just that in my circumstance, I'm really pushing things to the next level. And these are the issues I'm having. And when we really look at things, it's been over a year that I've had this kit on the car 
and now things are starting to sort of wear and tear and you know give out uh, from all the abuse that I've been throwing at it. So if you, if you ask me, this kit for everybody is 110%, it's great. But for what I'm doing with it, with flares popping off, um, it's just, one, I'm scared of these things flying off on a freaking racetrack, you know what I'm saying? Like, that'd be super embarrassing. Um, but really, I need it to be sturdier. That's the only thing. Um, I, there's tons of people on YouTube and Instagram who have made show cars using this kit, and it turns out great. But I just need something, uh, need something stronger. So moving forward, we're going to be using OEM Mopar Challenger wide body pieces. It's going to be the front bumper, the front lip, the flares, the actual fender of the car, and the rear. Sadly, I can't cut out the quarter panel myself, so that's uh, that's going to be the fun part of this whole project because it's not going to be direct bolt on. I have to take the rear fender and modify it so it fits my rear quarter. Lucky for me, I was able to find this rear fender from a wreck demon or a hellcat or something like that off ebay and i'm going to be following my boy uh, rome low lives method of installing hardware on the back side of these so then we drill some holes into the rear quarter panel and we fasten them uh, from the back side now that's the plan right like we plan stuff and then it doesn't go to plan but right now that's the plan that's what we're going to do for the rear uh, i do have the lower rocker moldings and all that and we're going to get real in depth with this uh, I'm waiting on two more pieces to arrive. That's all I need. Once those pieces arrive, we're going to jump right into this and start converting this car to an OEM wide body kit. And then I'm also going to show you the differences of like, for example, the back, I'm fumbling, like the back of this flare, right? So you've got all the spots for all the clips and everything. And the plastic is completely different than the after, than the bike rest kit. So we're going to dive real deep into this, show you guys the differences and how I'm gonna accomplish this. So it's not the first time it's been done, but it's the first time that I'm doing it. So anyways, that's enough about the uh, wide body kit because like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna really dive deep into this. Let's put that right there. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. Next video is gonna be the OEM wide body kit conversion on the Challenger as well as where are they at? Don't know where I put them, but I got some upper control arms that I'm gonna test out because Got them for free. Really can't fight that. So we're gonna try some new upper control arms, try some new camera adjustment, and install the new OEM wide body kit. So that's gonna wrap up today's videos, guys. If you guys like these videos, you know what to do. Hit that like button, leave a comment below. And if you love these videos, hit that subscribe button. And one last thing, I gotta give a huge thank you to all my friends at this last autocross that Rich cell phone helped me take video. So Richard King, Carlos Gutierrez, Todd, James, and of course, we got to thank Vet Motorsports for having all our veterans out there helping our veterans. All right, guys. Peace out.